fishbone diagram, brainstorming, all these tools we say, uh, we had we saw last time. So today we will discuss about the new QC tools and uh, also some lean tools. So these two uh, parts of this analysis phase we will cover today. In the last phase, uh, there were some questions about correlation diagram on correlation analysis and some regression analysis. So during the improved phase that we will cover in the probably next week, that time I will go through the correlation and regression analysis and how to establish the relationship between the causes and the uh, project that we will do next time. But today uh, we will just uh, learn some more tools that are used in the analyze phase for uh, doing this uh, analysis. So I will just share my screen. So somebody can confirm once it is done. Is the screen visible now? Yeah? Yes, sir. Is the screen visible? Yeah, okay. So thank you. We'll uh, start. So in this session, that is session five, analyze uh, part two that we are going to cover. The new quality control that is QC tools and the lean tools. So let us start. The new quality tools uh, that have been developed are called tree diagrams, relationship diagram, affinity diagram, matrix diagrams, matrix and data analysis, prioritization matrix that we call, process decision program charts, PTCP, and arrow diagram. If you go through these uh, tools one by one, and you will come to know that these are tools with only certification. Uh, uh, there are tool certification in our uh, basic tools. But these diagrams are uh, de uh, new development certification area. But these diagrams you will uh, come to the certification when I say Kiata. Yes, but these are advanced to the certification tools. So we'll go through one by one the tree diagram. Yeah. Somebody Anybody have any doubts? Somebody is talking. Something is, some noises. Yes, sir. Somebody, please, uh, all, please keep your mics, mics on mute unless there is a doubt so that we won't have disturbance. Thank you. So, this is the first week tree diagram. The purpose is to explore ways and means to achieve the objective. Every time you come, you will come to know that the tool which is used in the analysis phase is always there is a the main purpose of the tool is to find a way and means to find the causes to find some uh, ways and means to achieve the objective. And why it is not achieved is found out by using a tool. So uh, you, you will see that we, I am uh, again and again repeating this sentence that all the tools are being used to find out the causes, get to the root cause. So that in the improved phase, we have to improve the root cause to get the desired solution. So the tier diagram is also one of the tool which is used and in the tree diagram, we as a tree, you see there are branches. So we go on drilling down the branch till we reach to the fruit so that uh, we get a, a cause or root cause in these things. Generally, these new QC tools and lean tools, lean tools, these are generally used in the uh, uh, processes in the uh, service uh, industry processes like uh, we banking transactions. Hai. Yeah, pizza delivery, which is your favorite topic of your favorite topic, pizza delivery. Or yeah, where the data is very low, or yeah, where when you see the, we have to ch change the system, change the procedures to get to the improve our process. Generally, in manufacturing area or area where the data is available, like if you go to our chemical industry or any tool making industry, there is data available that how much time is taken, what is the temperature, what is the pressure of the process, and so what are different different uh, set parameters that are used to find find to get the product that time generally use the statistical tools that is correlation regression and uh, ANOVA or histogram that tools are used in our uh, generally in the production processes but the service industry if you go to service industry like banking it or you are say pro procurement and contracting service for service center or a pizza delivery hotel industry cinema malls there are service sectors so if you go to service industry insurance, 
this time these tools are this new QC tools or lean tools generally are used in service industry to improve their processes. So this is one of the tree diagram. So you can see an example. The example taken call of recognition. So it, it can be internal cause or external cause or a personal cause. Internal matlab, somebody may say that I don't like long working hours, pay conditions are not the work pay, uh, work life balance is not maintained. Poor pay, pay is poor. Poor pay is always going to listen, there's no doubt about it. Poor working environment. Hai. Or a career opportunity in the year, but like if I uh, join this organization, I will come to I will be remaining in the same post, stagnant in the position for a long period of time, which is not uh, suiting my career plan, career progress. There can be external reasons that there are better pay available, better career costs available in a different industry or different organization. The better benefit benefits are better, they are providing me free travel, they are providing me free food, example, etc. etc. There are a number of causes external also. There are personal causes like uh, it, I, it is near to my home, or I don't want to relocate to new uh, new town, so I would like to come to the same town. This the company I'm working is going to change my is asking me to go to the new area, which I am not liking. Or there are some commitments uh, which are uh, for family commitments are there, like my children are studying, so I cannot leave the place. There's some things like that. So when you do a tree diagram, you first find out what is the that we did in our uh, Ishikawa or Fishbone diagram. Main cause and then go in sub cause. So you can see this or prioritization. What is the main cause? What is the sub cause? So you go on asking, going to sub cause till you get some concrete cause which can be attacked upon or which can be resolved to get a better result. The cause of resignation is this example. The other, other example here is uh, improve my health. You can go in the cascade direction. This is one in the branching, you can say, and this is cascade. Going down and down and down. Improve your health. Uh, uh, clinic me jao. Medical degree, medical college pass karo. Expert coaching karo. Yeah, entrance is and improving health in the village. The diagram for a improving the health in the village. So, uske liye tum kya karna? Tumko pehle medical sikhna padega. How can you improve somebody's health? Do you know and what is required to improve the health? You must have a degree for it. You cannot go and just nobody is going to listen to you if you don't have the knowledge or if you don't have a uh, support you authorization to talk on a subject. I say, I have to go and say, I know that for this type of the, uh, this village, we want to improve your health, so let us go do the other duties. But you are a doctor, hai kya? are you have you studied doctor, uh, the uh, medical? No, I say, I can't bold real. What's up? Uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Nobody is going to believe in you. So, how to improve the health in a village? So, you have to first attend. The knowledge, the how to attain knowledge, then you have to go to medical college, then you have to pass for medical, going to medical college, how you go to medical college, you have to pass for the entrance, then study for five years, six years, job in the curriculum, then organize funds to set up a medical center in the village, and then you can ask, consult the people, you can upgrade awareness, you can give them medicine and improve the health in the villages. This is the tree diagram. This is an example, general example is there. Don't, uh, this can be. Some steps may be missing, some steps may be wrong, but you just concentrate on how to drive and prepare in those examples. The next one is the relationship diagram. Relationship diagram is generate a relationship with the cause and the effect. So it can be relationship can be case. You know, somebody is having a good relationship with someone, somebody having bad just have an example for a, for this example. We can take the example of uh, resignation due to internal sources. Resignation internal can be I am not able to cope up with the work pressure. Work pressure is cope up with the work for long working hours. Long working hours, why long working hours? Because of people are coming uh, early and going late due to extra work required or due to some management philosophy that they will start working after us. In the after hours, they work more. In the regular hours, they work less, something like that. So, this can be a relationship of long working hours. And something will be that, uh, that uh, the, the work environment is not uh, employee friendly. Like uh, you can say there is a, uh, is, the infrastructure is not proper, washrooms are at far off place, no no facility for having food. Then the overall work area is so clumsy that it is very difficult to stay for a long time there. No proper ventilation is there. All these things will come in your relationship. That is relationship with work, with the discomforting work. So in relationship diagram, you find out what are the relationship with the cause and the effect and then go on drilling down till you get some good causes. The relation diagram is something like the higher turnover, higher turnover in employment. 
why the employment is higher I mean, because the turnover of employment is with them employee what are employees living frequently in organization so it can be due to many reasons many problems unsatisfied workers as i have told you earlier this is a compensation then there is a compensation which is uh, are we given by the other organization is better than what is given today that's what the situation is here i am an engineer and i am, I am given the job of the clerk or i am given job something else which i am not satisfied with my job work or low future prospects so i see that many people are stuck in their same uh, level for long time so it is difficult for people to move so if i join a junior position difficult for move to go to the higher position because people are stuck in the same position for long time so there can be different different what relationship is causing with the cause relationship of the cause with the effect also and cause different cause also you have to find out the relationship between this diagram so what happens is when you do some uh, this uh, if you are doing a hr if you are in hr and somebody tells you that our attrition rate or rate of attrition in our organization is very high please find out what are the causes and suggest solution so you can find out cause by using the relation diagram ki dissertation in composition can be two reasons one is it is resulting in high attrition but it is also due to somebody paying more somebody is going to compare with the other organization i am not paying i am getting a less pay in my organization but when i compare somebody of my education qualification somebody of my experience somebody of my age somebody of my position working in organization why then i am getting more pay then i will i am dissatisfied always remember the person get dissatisfied because somebody is getting more when you come so this is the relationship with with the relationship of cause with the cause also and the effect also this is how you find out relationship diagram next is affinity diagram affinity is a generate uh, same certification jaisa ki how you find out which which having a similar affinity in this uh, ideas or similar grouping of ideas like you can say here creating value so creating values can be vision quality policy personal commitments personal involvement value system mission state strategy planning how you are planning select elements long term goals short term goals then training it should be all employees should be trained what are the needs what are the need best training evaluate the training needs and improve your training implementation so you can have implement to doing a project the so project teams project progress communications is communicated in the quality policy communication or commitment commit communication of goals communication of success stories to the employees so they must get a moral boost to work more or motivate to work more this is the affinity diagram if you uh, we are not we have seen the diagram relationship diagram affinity diagram so all these diagrams are uh, if you see these are uh, certification is the main source in this certification ka hi hai different different things hai sorry then we have matrix diagram the purpose of matrix diagram is to explore the existence and extent of relationship to individuals So, matter is used to understand is between customer and product groups complaints. So, this is also one of the diagram which is used in finding out the root cause for the uh, root cause for the solution we want. So, uh, matter is used for the existing solution we want to put up. Then we have matter matter diagram used in prioritization of matrix. So, so we have got two different uh, uh, available so, uh, causes. So, how you prioritize which is to be get first, which is to be Drill down first, or it is to be attacked first to get the solution. So use a matrix diagram there. Then we have process decision PD uh, process program chart. I think uh, you all must have studied PERT and CPM. So this is one of the PERT and CPM uh, advanced version of PERT, PERT and CPM charts. So you can match the normal flow chart with all the event activities and consider the abnormal occurrences and match them in chart for punching. So this is used in where generally this is used in projects. आपको नया प्रोजेक्ट दिया गया टू स्टार्ट लेटेस्ट स्टार्टअप जो बोलते हैं उसमें इट प्रोजेक्ट सो यू कैन राइट एंड एक्टिविटीज व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी कम फर्स्ट व्हिच इज सेकंड व्हिच इज अ क्रिटिकल पाथ एंड व्हाट आर द कॉजेस दैट कैन मेक दैट एक्टिविटी गो रॉन्ग एंड डिले अ प्रोजेक्ट सो दैट यू हैव टू फाइंड आउट यूजिंग द प्रोसेस्ड डिसीजन प्रोग्राम चार्ट 
then you have to attack the call center first go to that so that when you are doing the project you don't get hamper in your any step so this is a typical uh, pdcp chart process program this is get a steady job start early savings how to uh, you can say secure your future and this is a pdcp so you have get a steady job then you may lose the job so what may go wrong there you may lose the job so how you can uh, avoid losing job develop more skills once you develop more skills so you your job is secure so you get, you get a secure future or you start if you put a good job you start saving in savings in can be lost due to illness so how you uh, overcome that by taking medical insurance then you invest in housing once you start investing in housing you get have a you have to pay your uh, loan amount or you may, you may get your, your house may get damaged due to some unordered circumstances so you get a house insurance the invest in long term manage investment losses due to bad environment we have we, you are investing in shares or mutual funds which are driven by market you may have to incur losses if the market goes down then you get advice on the portfolio from using the mutual fund portfolio that you are securing your investments other is if you are having investments and there is some bad uh, thing and uh, so you pass away then your family will suffer so get a life insurance that you provide your family a secure future so in this pdcp chart you will see for every activity you can take a cause which may go wrong and make that activity fail then you have to overcome that cause by putting a solution there then we have arrow diagram this typical uh, for a diagram that we see running and scheduling of large activities and then find out the critical path and then again in the critical path find out the causes that may go wrong and try to overcome the causes i'm not going to read through all the slides because slides will be sent to you you can go and read through it this is a typical arrow diagram you must have used this uh i think engineering may first year may yes for 10 for 10 cpm this is the advanced version of the diagram only so we come to the second part that is lean tools in simple way what is lean lean is thin thin means you have to make your process fast and adaptable to any of the upcoming bad things and improve the value to the customer in simple words, lean is improving customer value or improving value of a product that customer pays. So lean is production practice that considers the expenditure resources for any goal other than creation of value for the end customer to be wasteful and thus target of elimination. So lean will always focus on waste and how to reduce the waste in your process, in your product, anywhere. If you service industry, your waste is your time in the monetary industry your waste is a defect so lean product lean always focuses on eliminating defects eliminating your waste so that is called lean or lean systems so rule one the rules of if you are implementing a lean project you have to follow some rules so all work should be highly specified to contain sequence timing and outcome every customer supply connection will be direct and there will be an um um unambiguous yes or no way to send request or issue responses this means that there must be only two answers yes or no it cannot be maybe i will uh, will try nothing if the customer wants it it is yes doesn't want it it is no if the supplier can give it it is yes supplier cannot give it, it is no so the answer must be always yes or no yes i'm written about that it is zero or one nothing called 0.5 or 0.2 or 1.2 that is called the answer so zero or one should be must be always your in lean we always say the answer will be yes or no any improvement is made like a scientific method and you cannot say uh, that uh, anything illogical is improved you have to always go for logics and scientific method to improve your process under the guidance of teacher lowest possible in organization so lean states that you have to work with the lowest possible person or lowest possible employee in the organization to improve your production upar upar baat nahi karne ka management philosophy upar upar chalane ka nahi and somebody chairman level and board directors pe lean chal raha hai aur niche wale ko call nahi aisa nahi hota lean says that 
it must start from the bottom, bottom of the pyramid. Because if you improve the bottom of the pyramid, you are going to gain more. So, and rule five is reduce waste. The principles of Lean is specify the value there by customer, identify the value stream for each product, make the product product flow continuously through many value added steps. So we have to always go for value streaming, where we any step, any service, any you can say additions in the product that are not adding value to the customer are to be removed. That is what Lean says. So there are some Lean gurus, Shige Shingo, Japanese guru. You will see that generally these Lean principles are done by Japanese people. Japan is a country which was almost destroyed by the World War II by US uh, when they dropped atom bombs in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. And uh, from that, Japanese roads, and now they are most one of the most industrial and product and uh, you can say uh, economically developed nations in in the world so they and you can, if you see japan's uh, geographical location and the area very small country but they have developed so much in them this is discipline and uh, and this uh, lean techniques that they are able to produce one of the finest qualities of uh, products in the world like toyoto Toyota is a Japanese company, and you you may be knowing Toyota produces one of the best vehicles in the world. So they were uh, we can say forced. What we say, this is the mother of invention. After the World War, they were forced to go something radical to make themselves again a superpower. So there's a lean production. Toyota production system uh, was then became a lean manufacturing production system. Shige Shingo, Taichi Ono. All Ishikawa, all these are the Japanese people who develop these systems to improve their product and improve their processes. These are lean gurus. So, what is the waste? If you anyone talking about lean, always talk about waste. The waste is anything that consumes resources without creating value. If today I am giving you a session on Six Sigma. If none of you understand or none of you are able to use any of the techniques and solve a problem, then today's session is waste. So because it has consumed resources, material, time, people, and no value is created. But say 10% of, of the people that are assisting in session in session are able to use this technique and solve some problems, then it is a value addition. So it is waste is everything that consumes resources without adding value. Taichi Ono, person who developed the Toyota production system, had divided waste into seven types. And then uh, he shows that all this waste must be removed from the process that you get a good product. You get a product or a service which is liked by the customer, which is giving value to the customer and which pays the customer pays for that customer doesn't pay for uh, uh, waste but customer always pays for the value so if you are giving a product which is full of waste then you are losing it customer will only pay for the value he gets you're not going to pay for the waste you produce always remember example i'll tell you if you are producing let us say a soap and you are producing 100 soaps in a day and out of 100 soaps in quality control, your quality control says 15 soaps are not as per the specifications required by the customer. So you are delivering only 85 soaps to the customer. So customer will going to pay for 85 soaps only. But for the remaining 15 soaps, your manufacturing system has been uh, consumed. Your resources have been consumed. People have been consumed. Material is uh, consumed. Time is consumed. So 15 soaps is the waste. And you are going getting only 85 soaps value from the customer, but you are producing 100 soaps. So 15 soaps is making you loss. That is what we say: reduce the waste. So the once your waste is down, the value increases. So what are the waste? Let us see now. There are eight types of waste here. Waiting. We are going to see one by one all the waste. Let us uh, just uh, list down some of these now. Waiting. Is waiting for information. Waiting for parts. Waiting for resource. I am waiting for a part. Uh, the per person is pro producing something and waiting for the part to come from the other other uh, function. So the person sitting idle. The machine is idle. 
and you are uh, you are increasing the time for production that is a waiting waste over production produce product production too much or too soon that is a waste because the over production is not paid you are putting 102 soaps customer is going to pay only for 100 soaps so two soaps are waste that is a over production rework just say when you have 15 soaps that you are defective so you have to again reprocess that uh, material and again produce the good quality soap so it is rework motion any motion that what her value agar person are moving the soap ka yahan se wahan se ghumi raha hai packing packing hone ke baad it is stored in the warehouse but not that direct dispatched to the customer ye warehouse se wo warehouse wo warehouse se wo warehouse then it is a waste over processing is that over production only inventory you are producing more so inventory is producing so you are uh, actually blocking the space for keeping the product so you are it is a waste intellectual that is human waste person not placing correct person at correct place somebody you are the, this is a very uh, difficult type of waste to be analyzed and improved but it is a waste because if persons doesn't come out and tell that what they want they will work when you give them work in a factory they will work whatever it is told to them but somebody is very good in accounting but he is placed in production that is a waste for him, for him also and the organization also. Transportation, too much transportation. You can directly give the uh, soap from your factory to retailer, but you will go to warehouse, from warehouse it goes to wholesaler, wholesaler it will go to retailer, but transporting, so it is a waste. So let us go one by one. Other types of waste are new, this is a new addition by people. Complexity, too much of process complexity, too much of reproduction, but the poor planning. Uh, you had a water for 100 soaps, but the management says 110 produce karte hai. Baab mein aadha hand ka phone hai ka nahi, let us produce 90. Oh, we have 100, let us for 102. So, that changes the schedule of the person working on shop floor. That is a real reproduction or poor planning. That is also a waste. Energy. Energy is a waste. If you are not, you uh, take energy in proper form. You are uh, working in a factory. Some You will see nowadays when you go to offices, there is always a, 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 a Signboard on the office. Uh, on the office, uh, if you go, please switch off the lights. You are not in use. Please switch off the AC. Not if not in use, not occupied. That is because you have to save energy. So it is a waste because somebody is keeping lights on, AC on, and people are gone gone for lunch. So you are wasting the energy there. So it is a waste. Let us go to one by one. The waste of waiting. The time for which a material or a machine waits to be utilized is the ideal time. That is a waste. The, some examples are person waiting for machine, machine waiting for person, machine uh, person khada udar, machine kaam nahi kar hai. Maintenance people are working for the uh, repairing, so it, the man, man is waiting, it is a waste. Sometimes machine is ready, but person is not ready because he has the ship change over hai, yeah, he has gone for some other work, he has gone for canteen, he has gone for uh, some things, uh, some meetings, so the machine is waiting, so it is a waste. Equipment bit longer concern nahi hai because uh, we are not able to. Uh, predict or they have a predictive maintenance, so it is having a waste. Person waiting for person, somebody waiting for somebody. Like, uh, let us take an example of our class only. So, we are waiting for people who come late. That is a waste. Everyone must come on time. We must start class on time. We must end on time. So, that is a value addition. If you are waiting for somebody, sometimes I also come late. That is also a waste. And that is that you only come late. Sometimes I come late. You also waste. You are waiting for me. That is a person waiting for person. Waiting for information. You are you are you are in a college and you are waiting for information. Are you next session? Kab chalu hoga apna? Koi bolega 15th April. Somebody will say no no. Starting on 10th April and you are at home and you want to travel to your college. Some do somebody you are working. You are staying in uh, Hyderabad and your college in Bangalore. So you are waiting for the intimation from the college. That kab chalu hoga? Then I will travel two days early around listing. So waiting for information. Waiting for approval. You are submitting your approval first to somebody for approving a project or approval of some concession, approval of some leaves. So you're waiting for approval. That is a waste. So you will say waiting for anything is a waste. And what are the causes? Inconsistent work methods. Look, everybody, there is no SOP for working. People are working as they want. Unbalanced workloads. Some people are uh, having too much load and some people are enjoying. Many hands off, that is the same thing. Cross sharing of resources is not proper. Lack of proper resource. We don't know which word to be taken from whom. So we are waiting for the person to come. 
reproduction of work. So these are the causes for waste. So this is a waste of waiting, the first waste. And waste of overproduction. If you are a, a simple, you see the tea cup also. Somebody is pouring a tea which is uh, uh, overflowing onto the saucer. That is the waste, na? So everybody doesn't think so what the saucer may go he will throw away the saucer of tea, only drink from the cup. The tea is also invested. Then if you are extra copy, when you go to some college for admission, oh Jirox copy charpat le na. College has told only take one copy of Jirox, one photocopy, and what you and bring to the college. But you will say are any do thin copy lilate. So actually the next two copies are waste. You are not going to use it. Then uh, overproduction of cars. If you see that many, if you are traveling on a national highway near uh, any car, you can see number of cars waiting or to be delivered in the big ground or somewhere. That is the, actually it is overproduction. And what are the overproduction inventory and stockpiles? Once you have uh, overproduction, you are going to increase the inventory. You are going to increase the uh, warehouse or you are going to increase the time in the warehouse. Then sometimes. Uh, Vehicles, if you see, they are waiting in the big grounds for delivering. Then they are facing heat, they are facing rains, they are facing waste, uh, sorry, wind, dust, and sometimes it may the vehicle may lose its value if you are keeping it for a long time. Extra documents with your bills, extra resources, extra copies, extra storage for duplicate files. Her file got duplicate file, duplicate file, mere paasi file, tumare paasi file. If you are uh, uh, having you, if you see if you are in laptop, you will see that you have got one presentation saved two three times. Safety ke liye, it is actually a waste, but that is due to insecurity or uh, that is due to uh, we can say experience by some people that the presentations get lost, so we store it. Recruiting more persons than required, instead of unneeded software. If you see your mobile, in your mobile, you will have about 100 of softwares downloaded. And uh, sometimes uh, nowadays smartphones give you alert also. If this uh, app you are not used for 10 days, can you put to sleep or can you uninstall the app like that? But the, actually, it is the waste. Na? If you, sometimes you get a recommendation from your friend, but we don't use it for a long, long time. That is a waste. You are still, how is the waste? You are, you are unnecessary. Uh, uh, you are eating up the mobile uh, yeah, space. And which due to which some other apps are not working properly. So it is a waste. So the causes are in care process, lack of communication, lack of consent schedule, focus on expectation, and unbalanced material flow. Then next is defects or rework. Not put in the customer decision for the first time. You say no, do it first time right. So inadequate error proofing and quality checks. Sometimes uh, you also be able to see that we get some defective uh, piece uh, or defective uh, product from the market and then we have to again tell him or you have to again phone call that person who service vendor will come to repair karega. So for that then you are going to curse the organization. Hey, what you This is not proper. Take it back. Give my money back. Amazon is like that. So that is a waste or defect or we work. So for Amazon or the uh, manufacturer, he is losing his uh, credentials, he is losing his money. That, that can be due to what? You know, you get error proofing. But people are not checking at the uh, sup supplier end. It is no checking. No training or instructions. No communication with the customer. How to use the product? There is no communication. But we don't know how to start it or we don't know how to properly install it. So you will come to know when you uh, purchase a uh, TV uh, or washing machine, the delivery ke baad, the service engineer comes to you and shows you. What are the steps to be done? How it is to be used? So if there is not communication, you are going to use as you like, or by giving taking some help from internet or by reading some manual, it may go wrong. Lack of standard work at the supplier, inadequate supplier quality, react to organizations, firefighting. Matlab firefighting is uh, used in term is organization reactive. Matlab, the problem is the problem. The problem is the problem. That is a firefighting or doing daily work. Everything is okay. We will do it. We will see it tomorrow. That is called a firefighting organization. Lack of product by process. Matlab, process, sa banane ka. product process is called a pro approach. Is, process must be so rigid. Sorry, so process must be so apt that once the pro product is produced by this process or this SOP, it is going to be correct. That is called product by process approach. 
example is fixing mistake or either discovering internal history before the product reaches the customer to find the mistake correct it and send the product to the customer that is called product by process automation in waste of motion gumra yahan se wa are wo file number 3 ka hai all departments are dhoond rahe file wo file nahi mil raha that is wasting 10 people are searching for one file that is a waste excessive reaching or bending the excessive reaching bending is in done in the manufacturing industry machine or material too far off walking time matlab somebody tell you take a photocopy of this and you see that are i am sitting on fourth floor and the photocopy machine is only on the 10th floor so you have to go to 10th floor take photocopy and come back and you are waste your most your most mostly waste because you will come to know you work when you come start working in industry if your photocopy machine at 10th floor and you are working on fifth floor when you go to 10th floor you will meet somebody will talk something uh, time pass with him take photocopy do one two three other jobs and then come back so most person waiting on the fifth floor waiting for the photocopy and you are to uh, other work that is a waste so that is what the causes of that this waste is lack of equip uh, equipment office layout not proper lack of workplace organization poor handling inconsistent store work methods or large batch charges that can be a uh, cause of this waste and over processing bottlenecks endless refinement product ko itna refine karne ka itna refine karne ka re jab tak 100% nahi aata tab tak usko purity banao one again process karo i want 100% purity the, the customer says that 95% purity is acceptable to me yani humko guarantees dene ka hai condition dene ka hai but by doing this over processing you are consuming the resources but customer going to pay for it customer bolega 95% purity ke liye i am paying you 2 rupees ab ne condition diya to aapko 2 rupees dene wala hu main so if an 100% production ke liye quality aane ke liye 2 rupees aapko mil raha hai you are uh, you are uh, manufacturing cost 1 rupee profit is 1 rupee now when you are doing for 9196 96, your know, manufacturing cost go to 1.5 1.7 and you are losing your profits so over processing is not correct you have to always produce process up to what customer wants it is good for you but why if customer don't want it don't produce it that is called over processing so uh, for that is there is no decision making at appropriate levels matlab kar raha hai koi banda lack of customer input the concern you come customer nahi bara bola nahi hoga ho sakta hai absence of standards koi sob bhi banaya nahi hai koi standard likha nahi hai ki kitna banane ka kitna quality dene ka kitna percent mein purity dene ka nobody everybody is producing as he wants that is actually a cause for this over processing inventory ek bar over process ho gaya aapka over production ho gaya to it will lead to a inventory problem inventory matlab production bana ke baitha hai magar there is no output for it transportation seven to transportation transportation ka waste multiple storage locations aapne banaya 100 products usko location 1 se location 2 location 3 aur customer ke pass gaya what is the use of it every time uh, you have to transport the product from one place to other every time somebody has to measure it somebody has to check the quality ensure it is correct so you are wasting the uh, effort also so you have to try to fish uh, ship the customer to the product from your manufacturing location to the customer directly and you, are, you will save the time you will save the product quality and also it will save your resources so that will be the transportation which is avoided waste of intellect that we discuss and somebody is doing job mechanically employee in involvement is not proper employee morale is down so people are working the uh, area here and the people are working the person actually always the person fails or the person does a mistake but actually you have to find what is wrong in the process in six sigma approach we never blame a person for doing a mistake you find what is wrong in process your process will be so sound to process that any person any person new old new joinee hai or uh, experience hai qualified hai unqualified hai any person put on that job will do it correctly only itna aapka process robust chahiye that is what we say process product process approach so it's a never challenge somebody working in one field is never challenging himself are i can can i do something else can i do one level up or can i uh, change my uh, function and do something else no kaam kar raha hai so that is actually a waste if you because once a person is in same field in the same organization in same position for more than more years he will become complacent he lack morale 
तो जैसे इफ यू गो टू समिंग गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट से गवर्नमेंट जाएगा कुछ काम करने को तो पीपल देर आर नॉट इंटरेस्टेड इन द जॉब वो अपना दिन ढकलने के लिए बैठते हैं दैट बिकम्स वेन यू आर वेस्ट इट इज वेस्ट ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल और वेस्ट ऑफ अमन पर्सन देन इन सम कॉमन सर्विस डिले कस्टर वेटिंग फॉर सर्विस लाइन में लगी है बड़ी तो कस्टमर थोड़ा बैठता है बाद में तारी इतना लाइन में कब मेरा नंबर लग गया आई विल गो आई विल कम टू मारो दैट एक्चुअली डिले डिले इन सर्विस एंड डुप्लीकेशन री एंटर करो डेटा इज नॉट एंटर प्रॉपरली सो वी हैव टू डेटा री चेक करो री एंटर करो अननेसरी मूवमेंट इन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अनक्लियर कम्युनिकेशन क्या करने का मालूम नहीं है यस यस ये करो बट क्या करने का इसका ये और डेटा समझो सब किसी ने आपको बोल दिया ये डेटा है उसको ऑर्गेनाइज करो और कैसे ऑर्गेनाइज करने का यू वॉन्ट बाय पीपल यू वॉन्ट बाय एरिया यू वॉन्ट बाय लोकेशन यू वॉन्ट बाय समथिंग लाइक दैट नो नो क्लियर कमीशन है नहीं सो एवरीबडी इज डूइंग एज यू वॉन्ट समी समझे लेटेस्ट से ग्रुप टेन पीपल है डेटा ऑफ अ कॉलेज इसको ऑर्गेनाइज करके दे दो सम वन पर्सन ऑर्गेनाइज बाय से ये ईयर फर्स्ट ईयर सेकंड ईयर थर्ड ईयर फोर्थ जो भी है समबडी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय डिसिप्लिन केमिकल मैकेनिकल इलेक्ट्रिकल समबडी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय मेल फीमेल समबडी ऑर्गेनाइज बाय से यू कैन से नंबर ऑफ मार्क्स ऐसा कुछ तो करेगा तो इट इज नो क्लियर कम्युनिकेशन इन करेक्ट इन्वेंट्री स्टॉक आइटम्स आर देयर इन द स्टॉक बट द सिस्टम इज शोइंग जीरो स्टॉक दैट इज यू आर लूजिंग कस्टमर कोई तो आपके पास आया अरे वो मोबाइल है कि आपके पास सैमसंग का कुछ सम एग्जाम्पल एम थर्टी तो पर्सनल चेक इन इज लैपटॉप जो ये अपना सेल्स गाय जीरो स्टॉक नहीं सर हमारे पास नहीं है वेन सी इन इवनिंग वेनिंग एम थर्टी अपने बहुत पड़े तीन चार पड़े पीस तो दैट इज इन करेक्ट इन्वेंट्री दैट इज एक्चुअली वेस्ट योर लॉस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी ना अपॉर्चुनिटी लॉस्ट और एफर्ट्स सो लीन प्रोडक्शन लीन सिकमा ऑलवेज फोकसेस ऑन फाइंड आउट द वेस्ट and eliminate the waste once you find out the waste and eliminate the waste you are going to make customer happy and once a customer is happy he will pay for the product so let us take a simple example on this so we are visiting a doctor this is a very common example so this is in the red or uh, you can say in that brown font is the actual time to do the job and in the green font is the waiting period so check in then it's vital sir done by somebody then you you get a testing done to so doctor bolega aapko test karo ye phalana test karo wo test karo jo bhi hai then after testing the tests are done the reports are available then doctor will consult you and you check out doctor will consult you taking a report ki itna itna hua hai then actually check in text 2.5 minutes vitals around 4 minutes you will that, that some uh, assistant will check your bp your some uh, uh, temperature lega aapka kuch to lega then he will say ki aapko ye do tin test karne ka ye likh ke dega aapke kagaj pe then you do do the test go to the give the blood sample or urine sample jo bhi hai example and when the results come doctor consults you are aapka ye bada hai ye kam hai okay hai not okay hai and you take out this you go to the my assistant he will give you medicine to so take the medicine and go home so after checking the 30 minutes wait for vital because there is a line vital check karne ke baad again wait for 20 minutes because wo aapko bolega ye test karne ka he will give and prepare some data and give to you then testing of your data take 20 minutes more sorry and after testing results come you have to wait for 10 15 minutes that done tak jo bhi time hai example liya 15 minutes then after consulting also doctor says go and to the that my assistant and he will give you medicine or the report and you can go so if you see this chart the 26 minutes is actual time and you have spent total 130 minutes in the red dot dispensary this is a very common thing so only 20% of your time is value added Rest eighty percent is waste. It's a waste of waiting. So this is an example of how a waste can happen in simple, simple jobs. So now you have to overcome this waste. 
there may be waste in your organization, in your production line, in your process line, and which has to be overcome by using different tools. So in Lean Sigma or Lean, there are 14 tools that are used are applied to overcome the waste. The most important tool is value stream mapping or VSM. You must have heard of this value stream mapping. So let us discuss. We are going to go through all these tools now one by one. What are their uses, what where they are used, and generally how they are deployed. The so value stream mapping is a visual depicting of your process of terms of physical flow material and how you can create value for the customer. The so value stream mapping is developed to show how your value stream will work like after lean improvements can be made. So you have to first map your process step by step, saying that step one, step two, step up to step n. And then on, in each step, you have to analyze what value is added in this step. If there is no value added, then you have to mark the step as v NVA, that is non-valued activity. The value addition in the step, you have to mark as VA, the value added activity. And then find out how, how many are NVA, and then how you can eliminate or reduce the NVA time so that your service time or overall cycle time improves. That is a simple uh, process of value stream mapping. There are three, three main components in this. There is the material flow, there is the information flow. Sorry. And there is, and there is the person flow, that is the uh, uh, movement of the person. There are three flows in this VSM. The benefits of this VSM is it gives a sense of low inventory and bottlenecks and helps you visualize the end flow of the process. Understanding where the value is created, it brings everyone in the team on a common platform. Because when you do registration mapping for your full process, somebody at the first step may, may not be knowing what is the last step in this process. Or the person in the last step may not be knowing that this product is coming from so once you do the VSM or version mapping diagram and with the help of your team, everybody comes to know ki what is my uh, role in this full process, where the process ends, where the process starts, and what are some of the NVA or VA activities in the process. So guidelines for this are errors and defects should not travel to the process. Matlab kya hai? If there is an error or defect at step one, then you have to correct it at step one only. You cannot say that yes, sir, hone ke baad, last step I sab correct hunga. No. One, if you find that there is an error or defect in at step one or step n, then it must be corrected there and there only. So you must improve or put some external uh, help to correct the error at that step. Redaction in the process so that people know correctly, no text. If you text it, then people are confused. Redaction, redaction is that try to automate the process. One time capture information at the source, minimize number of hand, hand offs. Matlab, minimize the manual movements. Try to automate the process. Minimize back and forth movements of document information. Matlab, don't keep on revolving documents here and there. Let us keep it in the same flow. Do as many activities in parallel. Now, try to do activity parallelly. Just say, if you are going in a let us say in, uh, for a car uh, servicing, then this, they do active parallelly. Somebody will go and check your tires, somebody will start checking the engine, then somebody will, and after one done is over, then then they will do two, three activity parallelly so that to save time. That is how you can save time. Because you have to always in the value stream mapping, you have to save, save time, reduce the waste. So minimal malinteration that will be done. Eliminate defects in master program. Minimize hard copy movements. Try to do DMS, digital, uh, digital data. Try to give it digitally. Don't try to put hard copy. What is it? You have a checklist or you have some data. Hai, to use the, hard, use the uh, soft, software uh, programming. So that you can check on the mobile. You can check on some device. So that the data is easily captured and easily stored. Hard copy mein data will be done. The person will check, sign, and then the engineer will check. He will check and then enter. Karega. So avoid that things. Try to make it digitized. Review steps carefully and follow the principle of SCARE. 
simplify combine add rearrange eliminate follow this step take each step and see how you can simplify the step can you combine step one and step three can you do it parallelly can you add some step here can you rearrange the sequence of the steps and try to eliminate the anyway steps use your current state of evolution mapping to graduation to future development once you do evolution mapping if you are having your cycle time mapping so if you are doing cycle time mapping up nikki i 10 minutes up 8 minutes make here to use then improve the process standardize the process give this new process to the end user let him start implementing the new process once you set the time reduce to eight, eight minutes, then you again start uh, stepping that reduce it to more and uh, reduce it more so that you are continuously improving. Can some uh, quick questions use is what is the rate of demand? How much demand vary? How and where should you filter and label orders to release the standard instructions? Study instructions. Where and how you can combine operations to create a continuous flow? How you can increase the frequency of production? Who will manage the transformation? All these things are to be have to be answered when you do the Galveston mapping. Identify all processes and use the scare. That is combining simplification, chain authority levels. Sometimes you see that there are number uh, more approvals than actual process. To change karna ka system mein, to process mein, ya kuch issue karna ka hai. So approving authority itna hota hai ki approve karte karte hi you waste many time in getting the approving. So change the levels. Try to get some some uh, band fixing that up to this uh, limit of money the uh, shop floor can improve the money the uh, money is uh, limit is um, 10 rupees so let us say that 10 rupees ka agar kuch atom release karna hai the shop floor approval approval is okay atom is value 100 rupees then let us go one level up the approval level is uh, 1000 rupees let us go one level up that is you can change the authority levels so that you know that there are parts which are at less, less value, so they can be approved by the shop floor person and the process continues. Don't waiting, waiting for approval is uh, removed, eliminated. Use new technology. Digitization is the mantra of the new generation. So use the digitization to simplify the processes. Stop step elimination. Try to remove steps that are not having adding value. Identify that will necessary to implement the future state. Rearranging the sequence, rearranging the physical location of the system, changing the work method, changing type of equipment used in process, redesign forms or documents for more efficiency, improve operator training. Training can also improve your process. Improve supervision. What is to supervise? A supervisor to apka, but he doesn't know what to supervise. So what is use of it? So you can improve the supervision so that defects or mistakes are caught on the spot and uh, eliminated or uh, you can say the defects are removed. Identifying more clearly the functional process to all employees. You can but up training. Let the employee know what they want to do. The next is tag time. Tag time is also known as cycle time. It is from uh, derived from the German word called tag zit. That is a production per minute. Let us take an example of that. So, tag time ka formula hai, T is equal to T A upon T D. Tag time, that is T A is net available time upon the time demand. So, how you find out? Let us take an example. So, let us say there are total 8 hours of shift in a shift. Okay, so 480 minutes is the working time. It is the 48. So, 480 minutes is the working time. So, 30 minutes is lunch, official. 30 minutes for breaks, there are two breaks, let us say 50 minutes of each and 10 minutes of team briefing at the start of the process and 10 minutes for basic maintenance work. So net available time is 480 minutes minus this is 400 minutes. If the customer demand was say 400 minutes a day and one shift is operated, then the line would be required to the, it would be required to output a rate of one minute per product one part per minute to keep the customer demand that is the tag time then in reality you always ensure that there is nothing called 100 percent efficiency the efficiency of your system is never going to be 100 percent in practical world in theoretically it will be 100 percent practically people and machines never work 100 percent there are going to be stoppages there are going to be reasons for stoppages 
value stoppages, justify stoppages. Nothing wrong in it. Allowances should be made to keep your stoppages and uh, other reasons to be occup uh, incorporated in the time, and then it should be made it to run faster. So people generally confuse between cycle time and tag time. Cycle time is the time taken by the process to complete a full cycle. And tag time is different. Tag time, what we say is time available time upon the time demand is a tag time. So this is also how you can improve your process. So tag time is a customer demand time for lots or parts. And cycle time is a equipment capability time to produce lots of parts. So tag time is customer driven, but cycle time is equipment driven. Generally, I prefer that cycle time is equal or less than tag time so that the customer demand is met. This is the ideal situation. So that your cycle time is less than the tag time. So that you produce the required part in the required time at the by the customer. So then when you have a customer demand, so you have to find the tag time first, then find cycle time, and then try to match the cycle time with tag time so that your customer demand is met. So how you will do it? Go to VSM. So again, do value stream mapping, find out what are the uh, NVA, VA areas, eliminate the NVA areas so that your time comes down, your cycle time improves, cycle time improves, your tag time is met. So generate tag time and uh, VSM is done in parallel. Then we have Kaizen. Kaizen means continuous improvement. Now there is also a philosophy called Gemba Kaizen. Gemba Kaizen is zero investment improvement. Gemba Kaizen or Kaizen, continuous improvement. Go to the shop floor and do a change which will improve your system. So this is a typical Japanese term for continuous improvement and is very much widely used in Japan for improving your process and they do it on a continuous basis. When every day a person will go and try to audit or review the process going on and try to improve on the spot. That is called Kaizen. That is continuous improvement, con improvement on the spot. Generally, continuous improvement done daily, on daily basis, but sometimes they also form a team to uh, do the improvement so that it is systematically done. Standardize any operation activities, measure the operation and find cycle time or amount of input inventory. Gauge measurement again requirements, innovate the mid requirements and standardize the new operations. Continue the cycle at infinitum. Matlab continue the cycle till you till infinity. Continuously one improving. That is called Kaizen. Then visit the activity area, look out for defects or non-standard jobs, NVA jobs, improve on the spot, improve the work standard, and modify the SOP. Ab, 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 matlab, the person who is doing Kaizen will continuously move in the work area and find out what is going wrong or what everything that is. Improve on the spot. You see, improvement ho gaya, implement the improvement. Implement ho gaya, you find it is improving, standardize the SOP, change the SOP and make it standardized to all to work. It is called Kaizen. Generally, these activities are done in automobile factory or a factory where parts are produced. Continuous organized, continuous jo plants hote hai, yase, giving factories. There is a continuous uh, running plant hai, and many of the things are not visible. Let's say if you go to a chemical industry, you will not, not be able to see the product inside the pipeline. Or the electric under the you will not be able to see. You can visualize it by using the, like uh, temperature, pressure, but you will not be able to see actually the reaction. Kaise ho hai. So that these are uh, these cousins are generally not possible, but they do in workshops or mechanical areas where you can use the Kaizen philosophy. In automobile factories or factories where parts are produced, Kaizen is a generally implemented very fast there. Then 5US is a visual management, again a Japanese uh, theory. They use the five words, Siri, Shiton, Shiso, Shiketsu and Shitsuke. What it means that you have to implement the 5US methodology to improve your safety, your visual management and also improve the production. So how we do it, let us see it. So CRE or SORT is the first test. So what they do in CRE and SORT? For I find out what is required or not required, scrap or dispose of unwanted material. 
when uh, there is a 5s uh, workshop which is done in our industry and there are 5s experts who come and teach us this 5s methodology and i will tell you one uh, good story about it that when i had uh, attended this workshop around 15 20 years ago we had a workshop in our uh, plant and i was a participant the person literally in the first sort or theory step he explained us the steps and told that let us not do sort for your own wallet he asked everyone in that room to take out his wallet on his own desk and take out all the things that are in the wallet in the desk and then scrap off the unwanted material 60 percent of the material in the world is unwanted there are a lot of things like ticket or some uh, small small bits of paper something written on that some visiting cards very old some uh, you can say uh, unwanted things were there in the wallet and everybody was astonished that 60 percent is crap nikla so if you do it for a wallet a simple wallet in your pocket is having 60 percent scrap Imagine how much scrap will be there in your office or in your workshop or somewhere you are working. So that is the first thing. So once you remove this uh, scrap, first thing. Then second thing is set, sit on, modify and label the item and store them properly. That is everything in place and place for everything. We call it PEEP. Place for everything and everything in place. P-E-E-P. -E -E so if you are doing a workshop, once you remove the unwanted, unwanted things, you're around 67, 50, 60 percent of space is now free. Now store the wanted things properly with label and code so that anybody can pick the thing anywhere, from anywhere and again put it as required. Then the next is CISO or shine, maintain it properly. Tools, equipment, machine, maintain the tools or maintain the things store properly. File keep properly. Label can be seen from the person. From the outside, ulta rak diya, to level us chala gaya, diwar ki taraf. Now the person able to see ki file ka naam kya hai. So that is clean and maintained properly. Dust agar udar hai, dust hai, to usko clean karo. Uh, label agar torn hua hai, to put a new label. All these things have to be, that is in shine. Then standardize. Once you do sorting, setting and shining, then prepare a standardization or, or put up the rules there in the place. Where when it comes in, you can see the rules. That uh, index C, you can say. In the first track, these are the atoms, second track, my atom, third track, my atom. But everybody is, comes to know what is to be done and how it is to be maintained. And last one is self discipline. Teach and preach. What is different between teach and preach? Teach is only telling, preach is practicing and telling. When I'm practicing it, then the person will understand more. If I'm saying we must come on time and start the meeting on time, if I am coming on time, then I can tell this. And I come at 4.15. No, no use. It is only teaching, not preaching. Only preaching works. Preach. So by doing example. Set example by doing it yourself. A discipline. Very difficult to attain. Very difficult to maintain. Self-discipline is the very difficult thing to find. So once you are doing this, you will get a, your workplace or your workshop, hai, workplace, hai, office. Hai. In your home also, you can do this. You are drawers in your home or you are clothes kept in your uh, closet. Try to fire, do fires on that. Find out the clothes that you are not used. You will find out many clothes that you are not used for years. Throw them away. Once you do this, you are going to get a space for new clothes. You also find some clothes which are very, uh, very, very favorite of yours but are not used. You are trying to find some clothes you are not able to see. For last two three months because piling ho chuka hai. so you also get something new of that once you do it then set in order shirt ek taraf trouser ek taraf uh, socks ek taraf jo bhi aapke hai. so that is the fire visual management is not only useful in industry you can also do it in personal life also benefits is improve safety in industry if you see improve safety lot of tools equipment machines are pretty a floor pay so somebody may fall, trip, or get hurt. So you keep it uh, properly stored that your floor space is saved. Decreases downtime. Somebody wants a tool, and the tool is in that uh, lying on the floor somewhere. Nobody able to locate it. Once you find the location of the tool, then you can easily 
find and get, do your work. So you decrease the downtime. As employee morale, because if you see your when you go to workplace, you'll see neat and tidy workplace. So you are your morale goes up. Identify problem quickly because once you start putting your machines and equipment on time, you can do when you're able to see if you're cleaning the floor every day and there is a leak from your machine, oil leak, you can able to say oil because you already are cleaning, so you will come to the key oil leak. Why you're not cleaning it, oil cup cup or gare or the cup cup or so not going to going to identify the problem. So it is a also identify the problem. Develop control visibility, but they care what a leg up. Increase product quality and process, promote stronger communication, empower employees to sustain their work. That's the benefits of 5S. So remove all the 3D, that is dirt, dangerous, and difficult. All these things to be removed from your workplace. Here are some of the examples of 5S. You can see here, Pahile kaisa tha and baad mein kaisa hai. All these, uh, these are industry examples. You can see the tools on the left side, how they are stored properly. Spanners, uh, hammer, screwdrivers, all they are stored properly. But somebody has to you'll take it from there, again put it there. So that take it once you are done this, this is theory, uh, sorting is done, setting is done, shining is done, standardization is done. Now discipline is everybody has one one I come, I take one tool, go to the workshop, do the job. Once I come back, I put the tool here only again. That is discipline. That is where it will sustain the five years. So five years. Philosophy is five years systems fail in discipline. Nobody is able to maintain. So the tool is lost. Then again you go. So very difficult to have discipline. But discipline will maintain this five philosophy. You can see how you can clean the floor area looks when you are doing the five years. There's a box that mark white paint so that you are to keep the box inside this um, marked area. So that doesn't go, go here and there, and the rest of the space is free for movement. Now you can see in the picture on the right side down, they are marked the yellow. That is yellow okay, inside ka jo area hai, that is the work area. And outside is the movement area. So person has to, if he's going from one place to other, he has to always go on the outside the yellow mark area. That is the, how you can do the five years management. So based on Japan is the word that begin with S, focuses on effective workplace organization, standardization of work procedures. So if you are going it, you are going to do it, do it right and the first time. And all which that is what five s is next is judoka the judoka is also again toyoto product builds on quality at source by providing equipment with intelligence it stops automatically the system stops automatically when there is a off quality material or defective material many of you must have heard this uh, story of a soap manufacturing unit that uh, there are soap manufacturing unit and there was a customer complaint that uh, every after some uh, what, 10 boxes, one box comes without soap in it. So yes, the people uh, did a brainstorming how you can uh, eliminate this defect, how you can put a scanner, how you can put somebody will put a scanner, barcode lagayenge, somebody says camera lagayenge, so that the soap, uh, all boxes are filled with soap. The shop floor person uh, told that put a fan there on the belt near the belt so that if the soap is not in that uh, box the box will be blown away because it doesn't have weight so it is a judoka automation in kardiana simple automation so that the end user doesn't get a soap doesn't get a box which is not with the soap that is called the judoka automation where automatically the system or the process stops if there is a uh, defective piece in the process then detect that abnormality, stop the process, correct uh, and investigate the root cause and install the countermeasure. The next is single minute exchange of dye, this is SMED. This is generally done where lot of different different parts are producing the same process with different grades. Let us say you are producing a, a tool which has uh, some dimensions, this centimeter by this centimeter uh, with this much weight, two holes in middle something like that then you are producing this and you are mass production you are going and producing producing it then sometimes the order changes that we want three holes and the size is this much then you have to change your equipment or your tools your machines to produce the new new part so how quickly 
you can change over from part A to part B the process system that is called SMED, single element exchange of time. Generally used in the tool industry. Oka yolk, also again an error proof designed by Shingo. We found we uh, heard his name Shingo in the list of the lean gurus. That is Poka yolk is mistake proofing. How you can avoid the mistakes, prevent the defects before you produce it. So if you see uh, from the lean or from uh, when we started a discussion on lean, everybody is trying to reduce mistakes, reduce time, defective parts to be removed, and make the product, make the system lean. That is value addition. Everywhere the thrust is on value addition. So Pokayo can be implemented by using a, a mass production system and try to improve the mistakes. So how you can use a Pokayo? I'll just show example. It will be easy to explain the example here. You can see here. You have a Pokayo is how to reduce mistakes. Then you have got a gauge. In the first uh, UK, what is Pokayo? Yoke is avoid Poka is inadvertent errors. So avoid errors is what a Pokayok methodology. So if you see the three uh, diagrams or three pictures below, in the first diagram on the left side, there's a gauge which is showing some value and upper it is written 30 to 50. What it says that your range or your uh, safe uh, limit for this is 30 to 50. In the second is a good thing because somebody uh, will See that 30-50k upper niche agar hai, so he will say that the uh, equipment is not working properly. In the second thing, uh, they have marked that 30 to 50 band with red, saying that you have to operate in this range. If you go above this range or below this range, it is a bad. So they have improved the uh, you can see the alert system. In the third thing, they have to focus that is if that range goes above and below. If that reading goes above and below the range, it will signal an alarm. That is the poka yog. That is here they are automating, automizing the system so that you get the alarm when there is a defect. So the person on the field, if he sees the alarm, he will go and correct the system, correct the defect. That is how poka yog is defined. Now, in every day example, if you see you are in your automobile. The diesel tank, the diesel nozzle will not fill in the gas tank. The nozzles are different. Okay. The door locks when the speed is greater than 20 kilometers per hour or something like that. Then if you have an auto auto uh, drive vehicle, you can't uh, shift out of the park unless the brakes are applied. You can't start the car unless you press the clutch. Okay. Then there is a warning bell if you don't uh, wear, wear your seat belt. Then there is a warning bell if you are fuel, fuel, the fuel indicator showing that you are running out of fuel or the fuel is low. Okay. Automatic, uh, automatically headlines, headlines, automatic headlights. Now your auto climate control in your cars. All these pokayo. When you have indicators, when the oil level is low or high, temperature is low or high, and your alarm signals, all these are focal methodologies to reduce defect means what? Reduce the accidents from happening, reduce the incident from happening. If you have a focal methodology, you have to see it, you have to see it, low fuel, you have to see it, it is not going to automatically defuel your car, but it is going to alert you that there is going to be an incident. Or the incident that you are going to run out of fuel, or there will be some uh, incident that your uh, temperature of the engine is showing high. That means what your coolant is not working, your cooling is not proper. So you have to park your car to side and check what is happening. Sometimes you will be running out of that coolant, or sometimes there is a leak in the your car uh, cooling machine because of that the water is drained out, uh, not your engine not cool. But if you don't if you don't uh, act on the warning signals, then there will be an accident. There will be an incident. The Poka Yog is how to make that warning signal more evident, more clear, so that you act on it. The next is 5Y. What is the 5Y? 
go on continue asking why 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 it will go to the root cause and so that you can resolve the problem let us take an example of the same the vehicle will not start why battery is dead battery is dead why the alternator is not functioning hey alternator is not functioning why alternator belt is broken belt how the belt got broken because it was not replaced what was not replaced because service was not done properly or it is not done properly or you can say uh, the uh, we i didn't inform the customer didn't inform that the belt is to be replaced or our customer didn't inform that is the problem in the battery when the battery is dead you start getting signals early only saying that your battery is not working or your, your systems will go down your uh, uh, horn will not work so you are getting early signals but you ignore it are kuch to hua hoga no problem chow chow dete raho then one day suddenly your battery goes down and your car doesn't start so once you don't start you go asking five wise to you get to the root cause saying that why the car didn't start because the battery was not serviced or maintained properly or the alternator belt is wore and tore out and it is not useful so it is to be replaced but not replaced these are the five wise then why replacement was not available because of extreme age of vehicle that can be the problem or start maintaining the vehicle according to recommended private schedule so schedule deta hai when you go to you get the vehicle to sell your schedule that you must do servicing after 6 months 3 months 9 months 1 year there once in 3 months once in 6 months jo bhi hai no you are not following it aap apne marzi se chalate hai usko so you can get a breakdown always remember that people do not fail processes fail always in any six sigma project don't blame people for any mistakes always blame the process correct the process the people will work generally five wise q bolte hai generally by the fifth why you are able to find out the root cause we call five wise sometimes you have to go down to six wise seven wise but maximum cases around 90% of the cases you will be able to solve using the five wise principle then the standard work another work is work as per sop blindly follow the sop sop is standard operating procedure because the sop is defined derived by the experts working in the same field for years and finding out that by doing this 1 2 3 4 5 6 up to n steps by doing these steps in this sequence this way with this timing with this equipment you get the best results so work follow the sop you will always get you are doing a new app or you are going through some admissions or you are going through some uh, say uh, working booking on railway booking on your uh, flights they follow the sop it is automated now so you are not able to get the feel of it what is the sop when you book a flight select the flight what time you want you set timing you set rate you set the charges you set a flight get airways then you click then they say they will show display 10 flights are available from mumbai to delhi then you set a flight when you set a flight they will say enter the customer names then you can enter customer name age male female uh, all these things when you do all these things then they will go to they will say then you click on somewhere done then it will show up the rates then the patch logon ka itna paisa hua itna tax hua itna ye hua itna then it will go to saying that pay here when you pay here you will use options you pay by internet banking you pay by credit card you pay by debit card you pay by google pay you pay by amazon pay something like that once you click on something then you will you put your card number put your otp and the ticket is book it is a sop not the automated sop so that you are not able to feel the sop feeling in it but if you are doing it manually then you have to do step one step two step three step four step five step six step seven till you get the ticket so this is sop automated in the system so not able to get the feeling of the sop but it is a sop that, that for every work the defined sop and that sop will is defined such a way that optimum job is to be performed by a person to get the best results that is what we say a sop
then total productivity product to maintenance that is again a toyota production uh, product what they say is have a maintenance which is based on your sop based on your breakdowns based on your uh, hours of equipment working so that most of the maintenance tasks are to done by the operators that is the production person like simple tasks that keep, keep, keeping the equipment clean cooling lubrication avoiding dirt 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 being going inside avoid obstruction to the running equipment damage to equipment all these things cleaning of oil filters cleaning of strainers why because they are the persons who know are they are the persons who are seeing the equipment day in day out so they will be able to judge properly they will be able to do it properly they know oil filter cup change karne ka hai they know uh, chain replace cup karne ka hai so what for total product to maintenance is that the maintenance must be done by the operator operator driven maintenance or the production driven maintenance that will help in keeping the equipment clean keeping the equipment ready and keeping the equipment and healthy for giving you the production then cellular maintenance also part of cellular maintenance also like a sop you have some specific uh, changeovers high quality products which have to be done in a uh, different environment then there is the cellular manufacturing techniques then hinjuka is again a uh, volume uh, level volume material tech time is used to find out how you can reduce the variability and increase the profitability and resources to get the good results then we are just in time or jit everybody knows just in time just in time is a, a pool methodology wherein the tool the equipment or the part is available when it when it is needed no need to store no need to keep the uh, part somewhere and then bring it transport the thing just in time this is used in auto industry again where in number of different different parts and different different equipment are assembled together to make a vehicle so when it is required the part will be available that is the system mirrors lagane ka hai headlight lagane ka hai tail light lagane ka hai jo when the vehicle is ready and the part is to be uh, put on that on the vehicle it will be made available that is called just in time process it is reduces in reduce setup time cutting the setup time always allows the component to eliminate the inventory smd is used here smd process is used here flow of goods from warehouse to shelves improves smaller individual pieces of size reduces a lot of design inventories employs multiple skills are used for more efficiency matlab malum hona chahiye person must be able to use and know when the part is needed that he keeps that uh, allowances with him samjho usko malum hai ki vehicle produce you required a part at this this time and he place the order properly that he, he knows what is the inventory time or what is the time taken by the part from reaching from x to y he will properly schedule it that is called just in time approach in uh, if you know if anybody is uh, studying this uh, toyota system now what they done is they are Uh, Toyota doesn't make all the parts for the for the vehicle required, so they have a suppliers which will give them the part just in time to avoid any delay manufacturing. That is what they then what they do is Japanese uh, industry. They also train their suppliers on using these principles of lean manufacturing, so that everybody is on same page and. supply also gains from it because he is reducing his inventory he will send the required number of parts the required number of uh, you know, tools required for that uh, manufacturing a vehicle just in time as required so daily if you know that toyota is producing 10 vehicles so how much mirrors are required 20 so 20 mirrors will come on that day only it will reduce the inventory at both the ends supply also and the customer and also then there is a some let us say they want to have 20 vehicle 10 vehicles are produced they required 40 or 50 tires 50 tires will come on that day so every day the 50 tires will come to the factory so what they are doing by doing this they are keeping there is no required how uh, stores or warehouse to store your uh, supplies supplies come from supplier supplier has his own system of checking he is ensuring that he will give the so, best quality product because they all are working in tandem it is called working philosophies Made by Toyota, such that 
the supplier is taking care of the customer requirement and customer is giving him orders repeated orders so that the supplier also used to maintain these things so this is called a toyota management system all these principles are used in toyota production system the next is kanban kanban is signaling what is needed and what will be reproduced or replenished uh, this is the system used in malls if you go to any mall say dmart big bazaar or any other mall reliance retail it could be malls if you go to the malls you will see that there is a place for everything and everything is place you can see there are things which are kept in proper location somebody if you ask somebody are sir wo uh, soaps and detergents ka mil will say go to rack number 3 on that on that side you will get there because it is known it is standardized process when you go there if you see that there are colgate rakha hai udhar colgate uh, toothpaste ka uh, ek rack hai so there is a now it is automized but earlier it was a kanban what was done is there is a card kept near the rack once a, a customer leaves one toothpaste pouch and goes away the employee or the uh, person working for that organization will be moving and he will see how much is the rack mein number kitna hai samjho there are five toothpaste kept and the card has kept five then customer take it he will see and see door reh gaya so he will cut that five and keep two the second person or the person from the supplier or the person who is waiting the inventory will also taking rounds so you see when there are two we will inform the back end that there are two colgates please replenish so the person will come and keep more five toothpaste there now in the new era or retention era all the details are in the barcode now whenever you go to a big store when you do billing there is a barcode is scanned by the person there and the barcode gives a signal to the back end saying that this much atoms of this are sold right colgate 10 colgate toothpaste are sold in last 3 minutes so the person has a record saying that colgate toothpaste ka wo rack mein kitna quantity tha so it 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 is 20 are there so 10 are sold now there are only 10 remaining and by going this way next in next at half an hour the the ten will be sold and they will stock out so the person will the automatic signal will go to the inventory people saying that replenish the inventory by 10 so the person will be moving he will putting the new toothpaste there and the uh, uh, the customer will not get anything stock out nahi milega usko that is called kanban earlier it was done by manually there are cards kept if uh, matlab now you don't in stores also i am engineering stores or stores big big stores in our industry we had a card for each of the product and uh, when you go to a, a store and say are mere ko bearing chahiye i am to replace bearing for this pump like give me three bearings for this motor give me three bearings so you will give three bearing on the card you will cut the bearing number from say at a seven where there you cut seven and you will put three then there will be the inventory level which is defined for that card it will mention on the card only replenish when the inventory goes below 3 so when the inventory goes below 3 he will put uh, take the card he will go to the uh, supplier or the procurement team and tell that bearing ka number 3 ho gaya hai please replace the bearing so or replenish the bearing order will be placed to the vendor the vendor will give some number bearing it will be again put in the store that, that when next time somebody comes the bearing is available now all these things we used to put them manually and earlier stages now all these are done by using a, a automated system that is barcode so this is how kanban is done it's a kanban so if you see in a project generally following are the three five three to five things that we do commonly in the project value stream mapping seven types of waste ios pokayo and diagrams that are things that done to use in the six sigma project now henry ford is called the guru of all these things because he implemented this lean system for the first time in the ford motor company in 1930 at the river rock plant what he did it waste reduction by using reworking and reusing of worn steel rails remelting of scrap steel converting paper rags and hardwood into binder board so all these concepts of lean outside japan were first implemented at ford motor company us wherein he implemented the things improved the profit margins and made ford a profitable organization the toyota production house that has developed this lean system 
Key concepts are optimum piece of flow, full production, tack time production, minimize, minimize the change over time. Then in judoka, automate, building, stopping of abnormalities. And the third is level loading, sequencing, and stability of standard work. And who are going to do Hello, sir. Hello? Yes. Hello, sir. Ha, ha, sir. Please repeat. Uh, Six Sigma, we will use tools use karenge na, aap, abhi abhi hai. Sir, oh, ek bar, please use tools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Batao, batao. One minute. Just give me two minutes. Sir. I'll repeat. Okay, sir. Okay, okay. So, the Toyota production system says use just in time judoka and hinjuka as broad categories of implementing the reorganization and who will do it people so people are the center point you have to make system such a way make awareness training processes in such a way that people will not make mistakes and your process doesn't fail this is the with this we come to end of our session now i will just repeat the tools Various Lean tools using Six Sigma. Generally, in Six Sigma process or Six Sigma projects, we use realistic mapping, identification of waste, 5S, Pokayo, spaghetti diagram, we learned in our uh, seven basic tools. So these are the five main tools that are in Six Sigma. Not everyone uses all the tools. Generally, many of our Six Sigma projects, if they are based on cycle time, if they are based on uh, delivery time, they'll be using realistic mapping. VSM. Then uh, when we have uh, waste and defect so in the project, the projects are for defect reducing, then we will be identifying the seven types of waste. For US is generally used for uh, just a uh, month, we can say in all projects to reduce your, uh, you can say the time or reduce your workflow. Pokayoka mistake proofing is used where there is automation use, that is the automation system. So we are to if you are doing the system, you are suggesting change from manual to automation, then there will be a POCA you are using. So the diagrams are used for showing the management, what you have done and how it is to be done. So with this, we come to the end of the session. If there are any questions, let us do one by one. If anybody have any questions, please ask to, sir. Please Otherwise, we will and you can discuss it. हेलो सर यस यस सौमित्र हां सर केजन को हम लोग प्लांट में कैसे